All right, let's get started with our double day action. Uh, nothing much else to do here, so we'll just keep on moving. So now that we exited the screen and came back in, now the escape bug isn't here, so we can run away now. Did Dragon Force take their name from the enemy skill in this game? I'm pretty sure they took their name from World of Warcraft. But I, I'm not sure. All their music is World of Warcraft related, so I figured their name was too. Have any Dragon Force fans in the chat? I like dragons. Fair enough. I too like dragons. Did anyone else have a, a dragon phase? I went through a I went through a dragon phase where like I wanted everything dragon. I had like dragon posters in my room. I got dragon Legos. Everything was dragon. My Internet username was Draco171717. Uh, this is a really impressive uh, section, by the way. This kind of is Square Enix showing off yet again what their cutscenes could do, because this cutscene plays while you still have control. And Cloud's model is actually, like, superimposed on top of it. It's pretty wild. It blows my mind that this was possible given when this game was made and how broken the game is in general. But like, they were still able to pull stuff off like this. And I mean, seamless transition between where the model is and where the cutscene starts. You, you can barely even tell the cutscene started. You think the camera's just moving and then you're like, whoa! Hey, how's it going, Mephisto? You come at a great time, because we're doing a double day today, so... Normally, you would have got here just when we were ending Final Fantasy VII. Well, at least the end of the way through. Uh, but we're doing a double day today, so we got four more hours. Normally, we do something else, like Nightmare Mod, or something not Final Fantasy related. For the next four hours. An old crater! Something fell out of the sky and crashed down here, leaving a scar on the planet. The energy of the planet is concentrated here. It is slowly healing its old wound. Sephiroth took that energy and is trying to use Meteor. Next time, the wound won't be so small. So, a uh, cool area here. You can fight grenades. And you can fight giants. Grenades. I don't remember if they have anything special. Don't they have like a... Uh... They have right arms, okay. I was thinking maybe right arm, but I was also thinking maybe a different version of it. Hey, we got both three. Uh, the big thing here is uh, Gigas armlets. But back to Seth Aroth. Hey, thank you for the 973, old Bento. Appreciate it so much, man. I got the same pincer attack twice. Dude, Cloud is doing so much damage. Oh! Uh, every Sephiroth you see from the beginning of the game until you fight Safer Sephiroth is Genova. Or a clone being controlled by Sephiroth to look like Sephiroth, or Genova in the shape of Sephiroth, or etc, etc. With the exception of the Nibelheim flashback, obviously. I 
thought it was Patrick. There he is! <laughs> Such a cool enemy. Look at those shoes! What is this, Kingdom Hearts? The only time you ever see real Sephiroth is in the crater and in the flashback. Everything else is something being controlled by Sephiroth. Most of the time it's Genova. That's why when Sephiroth flies away, he drops like a piece of garbage that turns into Genova. That's like Genova's pieces falling off. Kind of like a sin spawn. Is this attack on Titan? Yeah, we usually go back and forth on whether or not it's Genova controlling Sephiroth or Sephiroth controlling Genova. I think it's pretty obvious that, like, Sephiroth is the main, uh, you know, puppet master. But, uh,. You know, it, it, like the Sephiroth that runs around and drops pieces of itself that you fight, you could say that that's really like Genova helping Sephiroth, and that Sephiroth isn't just like controlling every aspect of Genova. But the general understood consensus is that Sephiroth just takes control of Genova and just controls all of them completely. Um, that's why Genova breaks out of the cell. Because Sephiroth takes control of Genova and uses his strength to break out of the cell. So it makes sense that he's just pretty much 100% controlling her the whole time. Um, he does not have the ability to completely control Cloud at all times. But because of the reunion theory and how they all eventually meet up, he kind of just knows that Cloud's going to end up there to give him the Black Materia. He doesn't have to worry about it because of the reunion. He's like, yeah, he'll be here. So we got another Gigas Armlet. I could get another one, but I'm not that worried about it. I'm not really going to use the Gigas Armlet, but the Gigas Armlet's really strong for certain builds. Cloud, wait for me! Please take me with you. You're going to have it out with Sephiroth, aren't you? You can always tell if alerts are turned off because there's a pause button right by the bit counter there. Because of Sephiroth, I too have lost many things, so please take me along. Don't say no, okay? It can't be helped. Well, gee, thanks. This is kind of a goon because you can't, like, set up Tifa here. She's forced into your party with nothing. I'm going to call everyone. Thanks. Sephiroth can control Genova because he traveled the life stream and got all the wisdom of the ancients and is now super uber powerful. Um, and he has Genova cells in him. And he also fell into the life stream with Genova. I don't know if that's part of it as well. But he's super duper powerful and has Genova cells and can control everyone through everything. Um. The whole planet is, like, poisoned with Genova because Genova falls into the life stream. So he can control Genova, like, through the life stream because he has power over the life stream. So the way I've always explained it in my head is, like, the life stream gets corrupted by Genova, and because Sephiroth traveled the life stream and now has power over it, he can control Genova through the life stream. But you could also just say, like, he's so powerful he has mind control on <laughs> However you want to interpret it. But that's how I always interpreted it. I can give her the work glove. Just have her... Yeah, let's give her the work glove and the gigas armlet. 
from the power wrist. Just have her punch stuff. Why not? care. We don't keep her that long. If I give her fire elemental, she's all set. And if I give someone else fire ring, we can't lose. Here's Neo Bahamut. You actually need to grab Neo Bahamut um, to get Zero Bahamut later. Did I miss any other questions? Bryce, thank you for the bits. No, Sephiroth falls into the live stream because he dies. When Cloud knocks him off, he dies. But when you die, you're supposed to break up and return to the live stream. But he doesn't break up. He's so powerful that he just travels the live stream. And he collects all the wisdom of the ancients and all of the power of the live stream. And then he transports himself to the North Crater and crystallizes into Safer Sephiroth. And then from that form, he controls Genova from the Shinra HQ. Yeah, I bet you a lot of people actually haven't seen that scene because they have Tifa in their party. <laughs> but yeah, there's a little scene there if you don't have Tifa in your party. Yep, you could just walk right past Neo Bahamut. You could walk right past Bahamut, too. That's exclamation marks. Yes, all your base do belong to me. So, I finally found you. Kya ha ha. Kya ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha. This is incredible. This is the promised land the president has been searching for. But I'll be the one who gets it. You are the president, what are you talking about? Sorry, old man. Hee hee hee. That land is no one's. It's where the reunion will take place. They will all gather here. I wonder if we'll see Sephiroth. Yo, the 148, Fat Steve. Now my favorite part of the game. We need to cross in the wind is calm, but we'll get swept off. Uh, real quick. Get into a fight on purpose so I can get white wind. On all three. I think I have White Wind on just the two right now. One or two. Get White Wind on the third. Uh, if you run into the wind, you always get this fight with just one, one of these guys. So it's an easy way to force White Wind if you don't have it. Oh wait, he doesn't have White Wind. Why did I think he had White Wind? Disregard me. I could have swore he had White Wind. Quick, learn Arrow 3! He does have White Wind, but you can't manip it. What do you have to do? You, con you confuse him? That's why. That's why I'm confused. Okay, do I have... Fuse, or do I need to? Use, I don't think. I don't think Brad Breath will work. Yeah, 
I do have mystify. We could try it. The one time that this materia comes into play. Well, I actually do like mystify for berserk. I think seal is much worse. Seal is pretty useless. <laughs> actually really like that sound effect. take more damage. This guy does like, I think he does White Wind if he's at like a third or something, but if you get him really low, he'll spam it because you can only use it, like his AI wants to use it because he's low, but because he's low it doesn't heal much, so he'll just like spam it. Because if you remember, White Wind only heals the amount of HP you currently have. So if you get him down to like 1 HP, it'll heal 1, and then 2, and then 4. So you can get him to use it a bunch. I wonder if Laser would work. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're gonna use one more though. Because it did half his health, so he has exactly half. So he probably uses it under 50%. Nice. So like there, if he would have used it, he would have healed him like. So I hate this part. This is why. <laughs> I thought I could go. <laughs> yeah, when we did it on times three, I wanted to quit. Holy! I don't know if it happens on the PS1 version, but uh, on the PC version, this thing's actually a bit broken and it can get out of sync. This one's actually really easy. You just wait till it's like completely gone. I just tried to go too early. Uh, and the second one's not that bad either, but the third one is horrendous. And also in the in the PC version, like I said, it can get like goofed up and. It looks like it's safe, but it's not safe. It's really dumb. Also, did you know you could walk through here? I didn't know this for the longest time. I always went all the way around. Come on, water heaters! Water heater, water heater, water heater! Oh, gremlins. You gotta fight my favorite enemy. remember what bad mouth does. It has a weird mechanic. I don't know what it is. I don't remember. It has some kind of weird mechanic, I think. Also, when you hit these guys, they dance, and I don't know what that's about either. They get, like, enraged. Yeah, it might be like all of the uh, all of the new releases that get screwed up on that screen. But yeah, I actually didn't know you could go this way for a bit. I always went all the way around. There's a little little shortcut there. And this is one of Tifa's best weapons in the whole game. It's super strong. Full uh, full slots. 
be strong. Yo, solid. It's going great. We're doing a double day. I'm having a blast. Such a great stream today. So many amazing people here. A lot of new faces. Water heater, let's go! Hype in the chat. Your favorite enemy. <laughs> Stupidest enemy ever. I. I, <laughs> I don't even know what it's supposed to be. It's called Sculpture. I think it's supposed to be like a monolith. But I've always called it a, <laughs> a water heater. Because it has an attack where it like shoots fire out the top. Like a monolith wouldn't do that. Yeah, it's a water heater. Not only that, but the attack this attack is hilarious. <laughs> the way it just Let's manipulate the water heater. Let's see what kind of ancient technology it has. We got Body Blow and Fire Shell. What if he Body Blows himself? <laughs> that was epic. Also, it's dying animation is great. It like flips out. <laughs> I'm telling you, best enemy in the game. Um. <laughs> so, a uh, fun fact about this uh, screen. There used to be tonberries on this screen. In a early build of the game, they had tonberries. They had, they had a tonberry uh, formation here, and it's still in the code, but it's taken out, so you can't you can't get it. And it's weird because, other than the battle arena, this is the only place you would have been able to fight them. So like now, tonberries kind of just don't exist. They're only in the battle arena, and then the mo master tonberries later. Uh, but there used to be regular tonberries here, and this would have been the only place that they found in the wild. So, kind of weird. I don't know why they took them out. Maybe they just thought they were too strong. I mean, they are pretty strong for this part of the game, so... But, it's kind of sad, because you really only fight gremlins and water heaters here, I think, so... It would have been nice to have something else to fight. Dude, remake water heaters when? Oh yeah, and these guys. Who have a cool name, Ironite. Sounds like a Pokemon. They have like a ton of health. Other than that, they're not that exciting though. Oh yeah, I saw some comments. I saw some comments about uh that plant enemy. We're like, I've never seen that thing. Yeah, we need that in the remake. Freaking nightmare fuel. How's it going, Final Chocobo? Also, there was someone else I saw. Big Shmi, how's it going? Uh. Oh, Bear! How's it going, Bear? I'm doing great. Alright, so this one's not that bad either. Just wait for it to completely dissipate. And then time the green wave. Because it, stay, it stays dissipated for a while, so... You don't need to, like, time it right when it's dissipating. Just time it when it's completely gone. But the third screen is awful. Tifa has sadness. Whatever. You know what? Just for fun. This is the end, for all of you. Sephiroth! 
This is the end. You're right. This is the end of this body's usefulness. He disappeared? He might still be nearby. Our purpose is to deliver the black materia to our master. Our? I was just getting into it. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so many things that Yuffie says just seem completely out of context. Those who carry Genova's cells. Master? Oh, you can move during this, by the way. Of course, Sephiroth. Hee hee hee. And we're dead. damage Tifa does even though we haven't been using her. 2k. So 3k between death blow and added cut just because of the work glove. Even though we haven't used her like the whole game and she's 10 levels down or whatever. I don't think she's that far down but. Yeah. Work glove, death blow, added cut, and gigas armlet. Pretty strong. You could go even crazier with the power soul, yeah, if you put death sentence on. But even just those alone. The <laughs> the work glove is the minimal effort <laughs> version. Yeah, I should have actually put on the power soul and tried the death blow thing, because I do have it. Or er, sorry, the death sentence, because I do have it. Would have been a fun experiment. You could do it against a regular enemy. This fight is actually a pretty tough fight if you don't have fire resistance, but you have so many options for fire resistance at this point. You have the fire ring, you have the fire armlet, you have elemental fire, so you have dragon armlets, so you probably have someone with some kind of fire resistance when you go into this fight, and if you do, it's free, because all of her attacks are fire. But if you don't for some reason, like if you're doing a challenge where you can't use fire resistance, uh, this fight's actually pretty scary. She can do a lot of attacks all really fast, and her, like, Aqua Lung equivalent attack is really strong. Welcome back, Mephisto. Yeah, I found it weird that she doesn't use beta. That would've been cool. Give me another opportunity to get it. Costco brand aqua lung. I think, uh, yeah, she's not weak against, like, ice or anything, for some reason. Uh, I want to say this one's weak against earth. I'm not sure. It's either earth or, like, nothing. There's aqua lung Costco version. Oh, never mind. It only hit flat. Does it not hit everything? Does she not have an all-hit attack? I thought she did. Oh. She kinda sucks then, huh? They 
boss is lame. Let's give you the Reflect Ring, though. <laughs> so not only is Darkness useless, but the item Ink is a completely useless item that does nothing. I always thought that was pretty funny. I've seen items in games before that are like jokes, or like... Oh my god, Cloud, what happened to your stomach? It's gone. It got, he got cut in half during that fight. Oh my god, someone get a band-aid. Uh, so... I've seen items in games that are like joke items that do nothing, like tissues or something, or just items that are really bad, but uh, I always love the fact that ink is supposed to be a useful item in this game, and it does literally nothing. <laughs> no damage, darkness does nothing, so it's just a completely useless item. Genova sells. Hmm, so, that, so that's what this is all about. The Genova reunion. Oh, you got your stomach back, good. Not Sephiroth? You mean all this time it wasn't Sephiroth we've been after? I'll explain later. Right now, the only thing I'm thinking about is beating Sephiroth. So it is Sephiroth. You answered my question. But Sephiroth is... He's here. The real Sephiroth is just beyond here. It's both incredibly wicked and cruel. But it's releasing a powerfully strong will from deep within the planet's womb. That's the same model, by the way, that was in the ice cooling. The black materia is back in our hands. Now all you have to do is defeat Sephiroth, and that'll be the end of it. We better not take the black materia any further. Why don't you give it to someone else to hold on to? Who should we give it to? I like Yuffie's response. What? You mean that wasn't Sephiroth all that time I was following this thing? I think you can do what? Barret Red 13. I think that's it, right? Can't do Tifa, can you? Yeah, I think it's only Red 13 and Barret. Me and the Black Materia just don't mix. How about if you hold on to the Black Materia? I don't think I can. <laughs> nice response. No, not the Black Materia, please. All right, Doggo or Teddy Bear? Hey, how's it going, Thomas? Thanks for being here. Doggo or Marshmallow? Doggo. You want me to take the Black Materia? All right, I understand. I do find it kind of strange that you can pick Red 13. Like, out of all the characters, it just seems kind of weird. Like, is he the most trustworthy? He hasn't been with us the whole time. I feel like Barrett is a much better canon. Like, it, if we're picking who would be who would make the most sense, it'd be Barrett. Red 13 is kind of strange. Don't give it to anyone. I'm counting on you. What does Barrett say afterwards? <laughs> fair, fair enough. Something feels really weird here. Let me catch some shut eye. Sid, now's not the time. About to go into the final battle. Let me take a nap. Let's find Sephiroth. We're going in first. You guys stay and keep watch. I need a nap. MP Turbo is really good. But we don't really need it right now. Wait. Hello? MP Turbo? Oh, there it is. Um... I would kind of like to level it up, though. Yeah, you're right. I was... I was just thinking... I was looking for it in the menu. And I was looking for a yellow materia. 
And then I was like, wait a second, it's blue. But I just realized I was looking for a yellow materia because it's yellow on the field. So they gave it the wrong color on the field. You pick it up as a yellow materia, but it's blue. I never, never noticed that. It's not my fault. They colored it the wrong color. Poison ring. Kind of lame. Alright, this is the one that's dumb. It shouldn't be that hard. Uh, but like I said, on the PC version, it's glitched and bad. Uh, I want to try the old trick. There's a trick here where you wait for like... I think it's... I always forget the number. I think it might be four. Four seconds, and then you go, and you get it every time. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four. Dude, that was so close. I think it's three or five. Five? Let's try five. Everyone's just throwing out different numbers. You're not helping. <laughs> this is unhelpful. I'm gonna try five. I'm gonna try getting into a fight. Oh, that's spooky. And it's a back attack. Great. Excellent. can have Giga Flare. By the way, I didn't talk about Neobama before because I was focused on the fight, but uh, man, I love this summon. This summon is super epic. I don't even understand what's going on here. Like, the clouds are moving it. Like, what is that moving from side to side? It's weird. It's like supposed to be the ceiling, but we're outside. I don't know. But he looks so cool, and I love how like his beam blows up the platform they're on. Just awesome summon. Yeah, I like I like how his head like shakes when he's charging up the power. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five. You better believe it. All right, there you go. <laughs> if you hate the screen as much as I do, wait five seconds and go. My favorite summon in the game is Bahamut Zero. He's probably my favorite summon of all time in like any video game. I always thought he was so cool. Still think he's cool. Still enjoy it every time I summon Bahama Zero. What is this? What happened? Calm down, Tifa. Except for all this near, anything could happen. Now we pretty much hit the biggest chunk of story in the whole game from here till we get out of Junon. It's just like all story. Nibelheim. But why Nibelheim? This is freaky. Really freaky. This is an illusion devised by Satan. This is an illusion Sephiroth made up. He's trying to confuse us. It'll be alright. As long as we know it's an illusion, there's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, let's keep going. Yeah, you're right. Look! Yeah, Hades is awesome, too. The sound effect Hades makes is, like, the greatest thing. Oh my god! <laughs> I keep seeing, like, different parts of the game that just... So, Sephiroth has, like, these creepy blue beady eyes. Look at Yuffie. She looks like a demon. What happened to Yuffie? She's possessed. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Huh. Cloud's not here. Stop, Sephiroth. 
This is so stupid. I don't want to be an illusion. Let's get back to the real world. God, it's just an illusion. Don't worry about it. What's next? Stop it already! Wow, I didn't know it was this bad. This is what actually happened five years ago. But it's probably not me that's going to come out of the Shinra Mansion. He's going to try and show us another stupid illusion. See, didn't I tell you? Hey, it's you. You're still sane, right? Then come over here and help me. Maybe Sephiroth just forgot what color Cloud's hair was. I don't want to watch this. Cloud, don't watch. Is that Raditz? I'll check this out. She took that one over there. What's wrong, Tifa? I told you before, right? As long as we know that it's an illusion, there's no need to be scared. Tifa be like, but it isn't an illusion. Hey, you all right? Oh, a dream, but it felt so real. Sephiroth, I know you're listening. I know what you want to say. That I wasn't in Nibelheim five years ago. That's it, isn't it? I see you finally understand. What you are trying to say is that you want to confuse me, right? But even making me see those things won't affect me. I remember it all. The heat of the fire, the pain in my body, and in my heart. Oh, is that so? You are just a puppet. You have no heart and cannot feel any pain. I, I feel like... I feel like you can feel pain. <laughs> How could there be any meaning in the memory of such a being? What I have shown you is reality. What you remember, that is the illusion. Do you understand? I don't want to understand. But I want to ask you one thing. Why? Why are you doing this? Ha ha ha. I want to take you back to your real self. The one who gave me the black materia that day. Who would have ever thought a failed experiment would prove so useful? Hojo would die if he knew. Hojo? What does he have to do with me? Five years ago, you were constructed by Hojo, piece by piece, right after Nibelheim was burnt. A puppet made of vibrant Genova cells, her knowledge and the power of the Mako. An incomplete Sephiroth clone, not even given a number. That is your reality. <laughs> Shrug. Cloud, don't listen to him. Close your ears, close your eyes. What's wrong, Tifa? I'm not affected by it. I wasn't paying attention to him. All that talk of Hojo constructing you is a lie. Don't we have our memories together? Being kids together, starlit nights? Ha ha ha, Tifa. Why are you so worried and sca scared by the those words? Hmm, shall I show everyone here what's in your heart? Got her. Also, quick comment here. Uh, when he says constructed by Hojo... When I was a kid, and I think a lot of people also, because I've heard this many times, uh, thought that meant that he's like a robot. <laughs> like, thought that he was literally a clone. And uh, when I was a kid, after reading that, that's just what stuck. And so I thought forever that he was just straight up like robot clone. It wasn't until a long time later that I uh, realized like that's not what he meant. I don't know if they should have gone with like different wording there or if it's meant to be kind of confusing. You know what I mean? Like, I think he's meant to kind of exaggerate here, so I don't know if I would change it. But that does give you kind of the wrong impression when you're playing through the first time. Like, I think he's purposely bending the truth, though, so... Because he says himself that he was created. So... You know, he, he 
he says in the mansion, like, I was created, but he wasn't created, like, as a robot. So I think that's just the way he interprets it. Right. And I think he says that to Cloud specifically to s screw with his brain. So I don't think I would change the text, but it is worth noting that me and a lot of other people thought that Cloud was like a robot because of that line. You look like you're not feeling well. Tifa, is Sephiroth right? I love that this is the part where Cloud starts to like second guess himself. Also rip this guy. <laughs> this whole time he's just laying here with his like Lego face. His mouth looks like a Tetris piece. Cloud. Why are you so scared? Don't worry about me. I'm all right. No matter how confused I am, I'll never believe a word that Sephiroth says. It's true that sometimes I can't figure out who I am. There's a lot of things muddled up in my memories. But Tifa. But you said, long time no see, Cloud, right? Those words will always support me. I am the one you grew up with. I'm Cloud of Nibelheim. No matter how much I lose faith in myself, that is the truth. That's why you shouldn't be so scared. No matter what anyone else says to me, it's your attitude that counts. Yikes. That's, that's such a great line. Like, yeah, it, oh man, it's so good. It's so good how, like, Cloud literally puts everything into Tifa, which is why when Tifa says, like, by the way, that's why his psyche gets blown, like, destroyed. It's not even as much Sephiroth or, like, anything else. It's, like, specifically because he put all of his faith in Tifa. No, that's not true, Cloud. What's not? Aren't I the same Cloud you grew up with? That's not what I mean. I don't know how to say it. Cloud, I just need some time. Just give me a little time. Cloud, don't blame Tifa. The ability to change one's looks, voice, and words is the power of Genova. Inside of you, Genova has merged with Tifa's memories, creating you. Out of Tifa's memory. A boy named Cloud might have just been a part of them. Cloud, please don't think right now. Ha ha ha, think Cloud. Cloud? Oh, excuse me, you never had a name. Shut up, Sephiroth. You still don't understand, then. <laughs> Cloud's laughing, or Sephiroth's laughing animation is so great. Do you remember the picture that we took before we headed for Mount Nabel? Tifa, you remember, right? But there is no way he would know. Now, what happened to that picture? The dead guy. He was here for a reason the whole time. Is this it? Do you want to see it? It turned out pretty good. Cloud, don't. I should be in the picture. Even if I'm not in there, no worry. This is just an illusory world Sephiroth made up. That was like perfectly timed with the bell. Just as I thought. This picture's a fake. The truth is in my memory. Five years ago, I came back to Nibelheim to inspect the reactor. I was 16. The town hadn't changed at all. What did I do? Oh, yeah. I saw my mom. I saw the people in town. Yeah, I went to Tifa's room. There I... I played the piano. I looked in the drawers. I spent the night and went to the reactor in Mount Nabel. I was excited about it. By the way, those two lines change if you play the piano and check the drawers or not. Because that was my first mission after becoming first class and soldier. Soldier, first class. Soldier, when did I enter soldier? How did I join soldier? Why, why can't I remember? I'm, I'm... That's right. I didn't have to worry about it because I was... Cloud? Let's go, Tifa. I'm... I'm alright. <laughs> Tifa, help. <laughs> She's just standing there. Underrated song. Wow, that's amazing! Mm. 
I like Tifa a lot, but I think it's fair to say she screws up big time here. Like, she screws up a lot throughout the game, but a lot of it is, like, understandable. But here it's, like, big time screw up. <laughs> you know? It's all materia! The outside is rich with Mako energy. The inside is a treasure trove of materia. This truly is the promised land. There is no such thing as the promised land. It's a legend, an old wives tale. It's utterly ridiculous. Weird that he says that, given like his whole kind of research was to try to find the promised land. Everything's as I imagined it to be. Isn't it splendid? It is that kind of dullness that makes you a second-rate scientist. What's happening? It's coming from within the wall. Something's in there. It's moving. I love that eyeball. Weapon. Then it really does exist. I didn't believe in it. What does this mean? Weapon. Monsters created by the planet. It appears when the planet is in danger, reducing everything to nothingness. That's what was stated in Professor Ga Gass' report. I never saw that report. Where is it? Here. Right here. You keep a lot of things to yourself. I wonder how Cloud and the others are. It's hard to believe such a small piece of materia is able to destroy the planet. Oh no, Mountain Dew. What the? Is everyone alright? What's going on? Where am I? Don't leave me alone! I feel bad for Red 13. Red 13, you're here! I'm so glad! Tifa! Something is strange. Why was it dark all of a sudden? And where is everyone? Everyone's waiting. Cloud's in trouble. Please come help us. Over there. Right. I'm not sure I understand, but I'll go if you want me to. Hee hee hee. And remember... The Black Materia! That's, that's such a, like, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> like a Yu-Gi-Oh villain moment. <laughs> you can totally see that scene in, like, some goofy 2000s show. It's like a Team Rocket <laughs> scene. Mr. President, I've got a bad feeling about this place. Hmm, maybe we should go back to our ship now. We need to prepare for the inspection anyway. I love that part. I love when it just blinks and they just appear. Hey, where did you come from? Don't know. This place is going to get rough. Better leave things to me and get out of here while you still can. Leave things to you? Huh, I don't know what you mean. This is where the reunion is happening. Where everything begins and ends. Cloud! I look like a Pac-Man ghost. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here to help you, Cloud. I feel like this part's a bit silly. Like, Cloud is obviously not himself, and Red 13's just like, here you go. Thanks, Red 13. Where's the black materia? Cloud! It's safe. I'm holding on to it. I'll take it from here. Give me the black materia. You can't hear my voice? Are you alright, Cloud? Then, here you go. I was a little apprehensive holding this thing. No, don't. Please, stop, Cloud. Thanks. Leave the rest to me. Oh, man. That one frame where Sephiroth's face is there is so good. It actually, like, kind of made me jump a bit, because I don't remember really seeing that in the Steam version. I don't know if it goes too quick for you to see it or not. I got a good good uh, look at it that time, though. 
Everyone, thanks for any everything. And I'm sorry. Yeah, there's like one frame there where Sephiroth's there. And like, it's got to be like one frame. You blink, you miss it. I don't even remember seeing it last couple times I've been through here. Again, though, it might be like too fast on the Steam version for you to see it. We should, uh, we should actually like slow down this scene and look at that. I wonder if I could get a good glimpse of it. It really is like one frame. Okay, so <laughs> here's a here's an okay look at it. This is like really poor quality, but. Uh, this is what that looks like. So it's just a black background with like Sephiroth looking forward, but it's kind of at an angle a bit, looks like. But yeah, it's actually really wild. It's like one frame that it shows that. And I feel like it was closer. I don't know if it's just like because it flashed so quickly or what. But I felt like Sephiroth's face was like right here. <laughs> but it's actually pretty small. Yeah, you can, you can, uh, if you go back in my video, you can slow it down and look. We can't do that right now because we're recording it, but you, you watching right now can... Go back and look at it if you want. How's it going, Jay Alex? Good to see you. <laughs> it's Sephiroth. Uh, that's a good timing for it, Sephiroth, if the bullets were on. Sorry. Sorry. Especially you, Tifa. I'm really sorry. You've been so good to me. I don't know what to say. I never lived up to being Cloud. Tifa, maybe one day I'll meet the real cloud. Ha ha ha, this is perfect! It means that my experiment was a complete success. What number were you? Huh? Where is your tattoo? Professor Ojo, I don't have a number. You didn't give me one because you said I was a failed experiment. What the? You mean only a failure made it here? Professor, please give me a number. Please, Professor. Shut up, miserable failure. <laughs> After all this, he's still like, shut up. Oh, there you go. We got the frame again. That one I saw a bit better. Who was that? He's the Sephiroth clone I created after the real Sephiroth died five years ago. Genova Cells and Maka, with my knowledge and skills, have been combined with science and nature to bring him to life. I'm not wild about the failure part, but the Nova Reunion theory has now been proven. See, it's so weird that he says to bring bring him to life. What he means is, like, bring him back to life. But the way he says it, says bring him to life, makes it sound like he's a Frankenstein monster. So again, like, makes you see, feel like he's a robot or something, or like a, a monster that was only made for this purpose. Not a human that died or was close to dying and then he brought back to life. You see, even if Genova's body is dismembered, it will eventually become one again. That's what I meant by Genova's reunion. I've been waiting for the reunion to start. Five years have passed, and now the clones have begun to return. I thought the clones would begin to gather at Midgar where Genova is stored. But my predictions were not entirely correct. Genova itself began to move away from the Shinra building. Right. It, see, I don't know if it's intentionally misleading or not. I feel like it is. I don't know why Hojo would be misleading on purpose, though. I don't know. But being the genius, being a genius that I am, not the genius, but a genius that I am, I soon figured it out. 
you see it was all Sephiroth's doing. Sephiroth is not just content to diffuse his will into the live stream, he wants to manipulate the clones himself. Yes, that was how it got started. I wondered where the clones were going, but I was never able to figure it out. I couldn't figure it out either. I have no idea who's talking there, by the way. The one thing that I did know was that Sephiroth was at their final destination. Like, I don't know who this is. Like, I guess it's Cloud, but Cloud isn't himself anymore, so I don't know what... <laughs> I wasn't pursuing Sephiroth. I was being summoned by Sephiroth. Like, it's obviously Cloud, but, like... Where is he getting this from? Because before this, he was, like talking as if he was almost Sephiroth, you know? So it's almost like himself talking to himself through Sephiroth. Oh. All the anger and hatred I bore him made it impossible for me to ever forget him, that and what he gave me. Sephiroth? Sephiroth? I'm here, and I brought you the Black Materia. So, like, the way he's talking, obviously he's not Cloud Cloud, like, or Zack Cloud. He's like Sephiroth Cloud, because he's like, here's the Materia! So it's not like his real thoughts, but in a way it is, I don't know, it's weird. Show yourself to me, where are you? Sephiroth, so we finally meet again. So, that's actually the first time we've seen Sephiroth, other than the flashback. That's the first time we've actually seen Sephiroth. Did you see it? It's Sephiroth! So he is here! This is perfect! Both Genova's reunion and Sephiroth's will. They won't be diffused into the live stream, but gathered here. Wah ha ha! What are you so happy about, Professor? You know what this means, don't you? Cloud has the Black Materia. Sephiroth is going to summon Meteor. Every single person is going to die. <laughs> Whatever I say now is too little, too late. We must evacuate. I want you all to come with me. There is still much more I want to hear. It's like, why? Can we just kill Hojo before we leave? Like, he literally just said he's okay if everyone dies. So can we all just agree? Like, us three and Rufus, can we, can we all just kind of be like, okay... Shoot him real quick. Now let's go. <laughs> Cloud, no, stop, please. Cloud! Maybe the best scene in the game here. A lot of... A lot of fan favorites. A lot of fans say this is their favorite scene. Good to see all the weapons. I think... I'm not sure, but I think the... Did the English version add... The part with Ruby and Emerald? I always wondered that. Is that a dinosaur? Sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> the camera worked there. So if you look really closely, you see Emerald and Ruby. It's like there's Emerald, there's Ruby. I don't know if that was added or if that was actually in the Japanese version. But they were just never used.
never actually looked up the Japanese version of that scene to to see. they added it. <laughs> 